My name is Phyllis Patricia Mice. I'm the Houston Zoo Commissary Supervisor. I've been here for 26 years um, and we're here today just to show you sort of a typical morning here at the commissary. I start rolling in here about 4 o'clock in the morning. Staff starts about 4.30. Um, first thing we do is go right to our refrigerators and pull out our several pallets of produce um, and then we set up for our three stations in our kitchen. We do diets for about 6,000 animals. That includes preparing produce, weighing grain, um, weighing fish, rodents, our carnivore meat. At one time, many, many years ago, we pretty much used staples like your carrot, jams, bananas, oranges, apples. Since then, we've had a nutritionist come in who's basically um, given us ideas of a better nutritional produce. So we have a lot more exotic type of things like papayas, mangoes, kiwis, strawberries, different lettuces. We have a lot of grocery items that we use here, whether it be to get our animals to eat medicines, whether it be that we have um, baby young that their moms might not want to take care of, so we carry goat's milk here, a lot of different baby foods. We have five different coolers that we store all of our food products in. Um, we have one freezer um, that's actually kept at minus 10. It's quite large. It keeps four to six months worth of frozen items. Uh, our largest cooler is our grain cooler. Um, it's quite large. Uh, we keep four to five months worth of grain in there. During hurricane season, I like to keep an extra four to five weeks in there, depending in case we have an emergency. On a typical day, there's three to four of us in the kitchen in order to prepare all of our diets. One person um, rotates, and that's their day to go on the dock and basically do all the deliveries, not only for our food, but basically for any other deliveries that come in throughout the day through different vendors. There's usually about 10 to 12 deliveries, depending on how the carts are loaded. Those deliveries can include all of our produce, um, all the grain, all the hay, all the bedding that is needed by um, our animal sections. Once we finish out here, it's then delivered so that the keepers there can go ahead and start to uh, weigh it out to their animals.